what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about jeepers creepers reborn and the release dates that i seem to have stumbled across on the imdb page these of course are not official since imdb can be updated by anyone or any person uh but the fact of the matter is the berlin the berlin sales event that they were at a, a couple months ago in march not even a couple months ago last month in March uh, where they were trying to find international distributors that seems to have been a success for them at least in, in regards to the UK because the UK now has a distributor for Jeepers Creepers 4 and Russia according to the IMDB release info page shows that the film will be releasing in Russia on November 11th of this year now also somebody pointed this out to me in the in the uh, comment section or the live chat of one of my other videos if you Google Jeepers Creepers Reborn, what you'll come across is a release date that shows July 1st for Australia. So what I'm thinking is that one of two things, Australia, to my knowledge, and I might be mistaken, I don't really believe Australia gets re gets releases before the US. I might be mistaken. Things, of course, could change given the situations that are evolving in the US and everywhere else in the world but a july 1st release date that would indicate that australia could get the movie before the u.s if this is true and then also that helps me then find more confidence in my prediction since i i did kind of touch on this last year speculating could we get a jeepers creepers film in honor of the anniversary i made a video talking about that last year i i have confidence that they're going to try to do that with jeepers creepers are born now seeing as how that ended up being true i think they're going to push jeepers creepers reborn out into the u.s for everyone to see in the month of august to honor the release of the first film 20 years ago now they don't have to do that releasing a movie this year in general is a way to honor the 20th anniversary they don't have to release it in august but they could also release it in october since russia apparently from what someone else has discussed with me russia tends to get movies and i've, I've noticed this a bit too they tend to get movies a month or so after the u.s usually three weeks or a month and i've seen this before with previous releases happen where it happened like that so not a bad prediction there especially given that the imdb page if it's to be trusted is saying that russia will get the movie on on november 11th of 2021 so the movie could come out in october of this year because again it doesn't have to come out in august a movie from this franchise coming out any any time this year is a way to honor what came out 20 years ago the first film so with that being in mind they could either release it in august october they could also release it in september but that's the time frame that i'm going to stick with august september october for the u.s if it comes out on july 1st in australia expect nothing but spoilers to leak out uh which would not be exciting for a lot of you i personally do not care <laughs> if the movie gets spoiled for me i'm not as drawn away from spoilers aren't something that really turn me off they'll they'll either make me more excited to watch the film or less excited i'm more involved with execution that's what matters that's what's going to make the movie good or bad how is it executed uh how does it come off on screen so if it comes out on july 1st in australia so be it i don't think it will but just an interesting thing if you google the film it does say july 1st for australia uh the other thing i want to talk about was of course the uk the uk has apparently landed some distribution rights to distribute the film through an amcrom am amcomery company 101 films which i guess is underneath the amcomery company the distributor 101 films they've acquired the uk distribution rights to jeepers creepers reborn a reboot of one of the 21st century's most iconic horror series this is of course coming from this tweet that you see here from the distributors twitter page now again uh that word reboot at this point we just we i think we use it at the wrong instances movies can be sequels and reboots yes they can but when you are canically continuing what came before there's no reason to call it there's i don't think there's really a reason to toss around reboot 
tossing around the word reboot more than sequel. That's what I don't really like. They're tossing around reboot more than sequel. They're they're not rebooting the franchise entirely. This is a sequel as far as everything that we continue to find about the film. Things are indicating that this is very much within the same universe. This is picking up 23 years later, finally, and the makeup designs and the prosthetic faces and the heads that we've seen behind the director, Timo, during his interviews are indicators of this. There's a mold of the creeper with his face covering that we know he has, like his little cocoon. So it's, it's clear as day that this is not going to be a complete, utter reboot set in a completely different world. It's continuing what has come before. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was when do we get our trailer i'm expecting us to get a trailer for jeepers creepers reborn no later than june honestly and the reason i say that is because i don't i don't i don't think they have any intent to go all out with promoting this film i don't i don't think they do i don't think screen media or any of the people involved with it are necessarily ashamed of their involvement they just know that setting it up to be this larger than life thing if if you even want to do that with a movie like this that they're not going to get a welcome reception i think that's what they're projecting i think that's what their mentality is they're not expecting to get a welcome reception saying hey you're going to get another jeepers creepers film because then you're going to get the people who do not ask questions they're just going to say oh victor salva again and then that's going to lead to turmoil oh well how is he not making money off of it? The things they're trying to avoid. They're trying to avoid all of this attention about Victor Salva. So I don't think that they are even in a position to really be caring about how they market the film. You see, I don't think they... The reason I don't think they even really care, honestly, is just how the YouTube channel that they have, it's being used to just upload one-minute videos, one to two-minute videos of interviews that are clearly over a minute long, but they're being released in increments. We're not getting anything of substantial information from them. We're not getting anything that is useful as far as like helping us know where the narrative is going. Not to say that they won't ever do this in the future, but it's just like the way that they're handling it right now doesn't make me confident that they're going to try to give us a film with a massive promotion behind it. I think they're going to just going to put it out there and hope for the best because we saw with Jeepers Creepers 3, little to no promotion, that movie made a million dollars in its one night that it was in theaters over a million dollars without any promotion now for a movie such as that to make over that much money in one night without little promotion i think that's a big deal i honestly think that's a big deal so we'll see what happens i think we'll get the trailer in june but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video